All right, everybody, this is Ross. I found a really interesting annual vegetable that I don't think a lot of people know about or even heard of here in the United States. And I thought I would make this little review of this particular vegetable to help uh, raise awareness about it and um, maybe encourage or inspire people to actually grow it themselves. Uh, this here is called Sima de Rapa Quarantina. And essentially what this is, is it's a flowering turnip. So if I pull one of these out of the ground, there is no turnip at the bottom to speak of. It's just a tap root. But on top, you actually have a few leaves and a stem that eventually flowers. And it really reminds me a lot of something like broccoli rob or broccoletti or some kind of uh, flowering brassica like that. Once it gets to the stage here where the flowers are just about to open or before they're about to open, that's really when you're gonna come in here and harvest. It's very simple. You very simply just come in here and you can snap these off right uh, with your thumbs. You can use a knife. And if you get them at the right time, they're very, very tender because as the flowers open, you can see some of these now have uh, yellow flowers on them the stems become quite woody and uh, a little bit tougher and they're harder to snap off with your thumb. So actually the, probably the perfect time to harvest these was um, probably about two weeks ago when I did my first harvest. We actually cooked these guys up and I was really impressed also by the flavor. So they taste and they really remind me visually and texturally in the same way that you might think of broccoli rob. Uh, but the flavor is quite different, right? Broccoli Rob has got more of that cruciferous uh, flavor to it. It's also quite bitter. This really does taste like a turnip, but it's really quite mild. It's not, um, you know, it's not a really in your face turnip or radish zest or spiciness that you might get. It's, uh, it is quite mild. I find that that's probably a good thing because what you can end up doing with these is that you can get a bunch of these stems together probably sauteed them in a little bit of olive oil uh, very very uh, lightly uh, not for very long add in some salt maybe then at the end of it throw on some vinegar or some lemon um, and you got yourself a pretty nice side dish or you could throw them in kind of last minute into a stir fry you might even want to throw them in into like some sort of pasta dish I actually think a little brainstorming I was doing as I was eating this was that um, it could be a nice little noodle replacement. These stems kind of do resemble noodles if you can get them, um, like I said, like two weeks ago. They, uh, yeah, they do sort of texturally really remind me of like an al dente when lightly cooked, or even you could lightly blanch them. Um, you know, they could be a nice little noodle replacement and they're quite mild, as I said too. So, and they're also gonna kind of pick up on that flavor because that's kind of what these leaves are for. And also what the, the flowers at the top kind of help do is like broccoli, they kind of absorb a lot of the flavor that you're, you're using, you're cooking with. So I think maybe a really experienced chef could probably do that, figure that out really well and make these a nice um, noodle replacement that's, uh, you know, green. I actually think it's really quite special in that sense. Um, obviously there's no starch, so you know, that's a problem, I guess, in terms of, you know, wanting really, really high tasting noodles, but uh, this could be a nice replacement for sure. The other thing I would say, not just the flavor, but it's super easy to grow. I mean, turnips for the most part across the country are very easy to grow. And, um, you know, they do well early in the season. They do well late in the season. I haven't experienced this throughout all the seasons just yet. But usually turnips here actually do well in our summer heat as well. Uh, this is a really quick crop. So I imagine you could get this in even during the, the times of crazy heat. Uh, it's only 30 to 45 days. As I said, it's super easy to grow, really not a lot of maintenance. Uh, you just come in here and harvest and you could do some succession plantings and have this stuff pretty much all year if you wanted, um, I would expect. So let me, uh, let me show you guys the plants. You can see it's just a number of these stalks that come up and they have these flowers on the top, just like, just like broccoli rob. And usually, um, 
I think if I would, if I space them out better, maybe four inches on center per plant, maybe two inches on center, something like that. This was very dense. The uh, the stems would be a lot thicker, and you can see there's quite a difference in the thickness of the stems uh, versus you know some of these really small, thin guys. And then as I said, you know when the flowers start to open like this, it becomes a bit more difficult. They are a bit more woody. Um, to pick. Let me see if I can find one. That is on the woodier side. You can see as you go down the plant, it just doesn't doesn't break. Um, you could obviously use a knife, but if I come up here, yeah, I'm still not having luck. So the other ones are very, very tender, like this guy down here probably is, and that just comes right off. And you can see a leaf couple leaves and then uh, the flower at the top and I think of course you know the better you harvest these the better you grow them the more of this you're gonna get this is really not that long it's maybe three inches in length so you know um, it is what it is but first year growing them I think it's not bad and I really would highly recommend you guys check out this vegetable again it's called Sima de Rapa quarantina uh it's a flowering turnip so we'll talk to everybody soon all right thank you guys here for watching and uh we'll see you for the next video